Hello everybody, I'm Virtual SG, and I'm going to show you how I fixed my XP Pen PA2 stylus. The issue I was having was that the pen would just trigger randomly. I tried setting the barrel buttons to no action, but to make a long story short, that didn't help at all. So, as you can imagine, that got pretty annoying, and I found one video by Espressi Paint that helped me solve this problem. Now, I was pretty apprehensive about breaking down my stylus, but the long and short of it is that I went ahead and did it, and it worked, so I decided to make a video to confirm for you that breaking down the stylus may not be so scary, especially if it's your only option. So this could very well solve your problems if you're having any. So the first thing is to unscrew the nib housing. It's on there pretty tight, so I used some tape to protect it from my pliers. The next step is to remove the rubber sleeve. Now I eased the button assembly from its seat. Now this is a delicate process, but I took my time and eventually it just kind of pops out. So then I remove the red ring, and then there's a tiny screw that holds this stylus together. So I remove that with an itty bitty Phillips screwdriver. And I separate the pieces, revealing the little circuit board thingy. Now I remove that and just show that it's still doing the same thing even when it's naked like this. And on this little circuit board thing is a special screw. I claim no technical understanding of what this is, but I guess it's some kind of tuner. So I turn this little screw just a little bit. And as you can see, it still doesn't work right. So I try tuning it some more, or turning it some more. Now it may look like I'm really winding it, but trust me, I'm just making very small moves. I have no idea what would happen if you just twist this thing around and around. I'm not going to try that. So uh, as you can see, just making a couple of little adjustments on that screw, it's fixed. I haven't had a problem with it since. It's been a couple months. And then when you put the pen back together, it's best to follow these steps. First, slide the circuit board thing back in. It sits in there pretty good, so it's not a real issue. Uh, you put the red ring on, and then the other half of the pen. It fits together really nicely, so gently screw that back together, or at least it did for me. Maybe I'm brilliant, I don't know. So then you slide on the rubber sleeve, and then you want to put the button assembly back together, and the back part of this little, this part here has a notch, um, I think that's the back, so make sure that that's the back, and then the button just snaps into place like so. And there's a faint line on the button indicating the front end. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, there's a very faint line on the button that I think indicates the front end. I managed to fix two styluses this way, so it's worked for me. Good luck. 